in a competition hunt, and, and we're kind of going over basic UKC rules right now, just kind of some basic stuff to get you started. That way, if you go to a hunt, you're, you know, you're not just in the in the dark, so to say. I might mention the word babbling. Well, babbling is pretty much when you say we turn the dogs loose right here. If your dog starts barking at my dog, he's not after a coon. He's not running a track. All he's doing is barking at another dog. Okay? So, that's called babbling. He may not be barking at my dog. He may just be barking because that's what some of them do. You just turn them loose and they just go to barking. I've hunted with a few that from the, I mean, I don't know how the people called them, but they was uh, a chalk mouth dog from the time you turned them loose to the time you got to the tree. The dog barked the whole time. I have no idea how the guy called it. But anyways, in a competition hunt, UKC or PKC, as far as this, this rule right here goes. So when we turn the dogs loose, when we walk up here and the guide judge, when the judge asks, hey, is everybody ready? Everybody kind of goes through, says, okay, we're, we've got our leashes unsnapped. We're holding them by the collar. <clears throat> when he says cut them, that means he's you know, everybody kind of lets go of the leash. The dog goes hunting. For one minute, you don't have to strike your dog in. So if that dog's babbling, that's okay. That's fine. Now, after the minute, on or before the third bark. So... After a minute goes by, the judge is going to tell you, minutes up. That means when you hear your dog bark, the next time you hear your dog bark, he has two more barks, and then you have to declare him struck. If you don't, they can give you a warning. So, we've got that kind of covered. You, you know that you've got a minute that that dog can babble around, chase other dog, bark, do whatever. You don't have to call him struck. Now, like Preacher, Preacher has never been one to babble. Most of the time when he barks, he smells a coon. So I've struck him in several times under a minute. Uh, pretty much any time he barks, like I know his bark, if it's under a minute, hey, I'll go ahead and strike him. That If you strike first, you get 100 points. If I strike him in under the minute, he has to maintain a track. So I can't turn him loose right here and him bark two or three times and me say, Preacher struck, and then after two minutes, like he, he just stops barking, and then two minutes later, he's 600 yards in the air, and he barks again. That would mean he did not maintain a track. He just barked because... Maybe he was barking at another dog or something else, but he did not maintain that track. So strike points. Okay, so after the minute's up, and I've struck my dog in. I struck him in first, and it's a four-dog cast. So I got 100 points because I struck in first. All right, the next person that strikes their dog in gets 75 points. Third person gets 50. And then for the fourth dog that strikes in, they get 25. So it can be a race. And then again, it can be like a fault, you know. Uh, so if you, you happen to get minus points, if you had 100 strike, you could, you know, you instead of getting 75 minus, you could also get 100 minus. So what I'm saying is... You, you need to learn your dog. You need to learn your dog's barks, what they mean, what he's doing. Most of the time, a dog, even if, it, if it's on an off game, say it runs out there and it smells something that it's not supposed to be after, a deer, fox, coyote, whatever, they'll have a little bit different tone. So try to learn that. Um, tree points. So... When I know preacher trees, I have to hear him. You cannot call your dog. You're not supposed to call your dog off the Garmin. So when I know that preacher trees, and I call him treed, the first tree points in UKC gets 125. 
Second dog that trees in gets 75 points. 50 points goes to the third, 25 fourth. All these rules are, are on the UKC's page, and you can you can Google UKC point or uh, UKC rules, and you can read these same rules that I'm reading. When I tree preacher in first, I, they're going to start the timer. He has to stay there for three minutes before we can walk into him. So when that three minutes starts after I tree him, if we get to, if we get down to uh, thirty seconds left on that tree, and this guy's dog right here comes in there and trees with him, and he calls that dog treed, if he's the second dog, he don't get seventy five points because the two minutes has been up. He only gets twenty five points. Um, with that being said. These are just some basic stuff. When you go out there, it's just basic stuff to get you started.